one of the most basic things that you need to know how to do is how to add a link and anchor text. Now what, what actually is anchor text? Well let's go ahead and go back to our example here. Um, as you know from surfing the web, when something is blue and underlined, that kind of signals to us that it can be clicked on, that it's actually a link. And what happens is so we need to specify in the web page two different things. We need to specify, you know, when somebody clicks the link, where is it going to take you? And also, you know, what does the link say? So that's, that's what we're talking about. Uh, when I click on this, I am not taken to uh, a place on the net called Puppy Training. I am taken to this page right here. So uh, how did the website know to do that? Well, it's in the coding. So that breaks down to two things. You know, of course, we have our link, and then the uh, the text that appears that's clickable that is known as anchor text. Anchor text is actually really important because it it tells the search engines what the page is about. It also tells the visitors too, because for example, if I'm looking to learn more about puppy training, you know, obviously this is where I want to click. So the, whatever anchor text you use to create a link that's going to send this, the signal directly to the search engines that that is what that page is about. So, let's say for example that you want to rank for the phrase best puppy food. Well then of course you want to make sure that you use that text in your link and that's how that works. So how of course do you do that? Well, I'm going to give you the code here. This here, the ahref equals, and I'm sorry this should actually be in quotes here, quotes, http, backslash, and then whatever your link is, and then there should be a quote right there and then that and then this is the anchor text right here so again we have the link and then we have the anchor text so let me go ahead with a live example uh, this right here you know that's the beginning of my web page I'm gonna go ahead and put a break in here BR creates a page break I'm gonna create another one and then what we'll have here let's make some room so you can see this is I'm gonna create a link I'm going to start off with a href equals and then the link's going to be in quotes. I need to have the address with the, the all that good stuff there. Google, I'm going to go ahead and link to Google like they need any more links, right? And then I'm going to close it with that. And then I have my anchor text. Visit Google's official site here, okay? And then I need to end the anchor text by doing this code here. And again, this is also in the book too. It would make life a little bit easier for you. Okay, so now let's see what that looks like by going down here and hitting preview. Okay, look at that. This is clickable and if I click on that I am taken to Google's website. So pretty cool. Pretty easy, huh? So that is basically how you make a link and that's the text. And this is really important because not only for your web page but you may um, you know, if you write an article, get into article marketing, you're going to have to know how to create links. If you uh, create your own blog, you know, it's just it's something that you need to know how to do. So there you go. It's not really that hard. Uh, just make sure that you include those uh, quotes there and use you know, exactly what I showed you here. And that's what you need to do.